Now, in the first series, we talked about your whole steps, your half steps, and naming the chords. In this clip, I'm going to show you how to actually form a major chord. The major chord, after you've named it, is comprised of the first, the third, and the fifth note of the scale. Let me show you what I mean. Let's go into C. We've already did our ho ho half ho ho half. Ho ho half ho 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 half. Now, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight notes with the next with the next scale or a key. Or in any key for that matter. There's eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Don't work, don't get it confused with the starting position and then changing over it. Here it is. That is one. You have nothing, then you have one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A major chord is comprised of the first, third, and fifth note of that scale. Okay? We have the one, that's two, three, four, and five. We're going to use some of our controls here. Once again, in any key, you're going to take the first, third, and fifth note. After you've gone through and went, did your whole half, whole, whole half, you're going to number them one to eight. Number them one to eight. Let's say we're in, um, in A now. Whole, whole, half, whole, whole, whole half. We're going to take the first note of the chord. The second, I'm sorry, the third and the fifth. One, two, three, four, five. One, three, five. And it's the same whether I play it up here or down there. It's just the same. And that's how you form a major chord, taking the first, third, and fifth of each note.